doctors, it can allow us to think about what the right treatments may be at an early stage, because often doctors are a little bit cautious about making a diagnosis. So sometimes they don't even think about it or they may suspect it, but once they have the gene test and certain types of gene tests, we can be quite confident with, with a clinical picture that this child is going to have a significant epilepsy and is going to have Dravet syndrome. So that's another way in which it can be helpful. Um, also doing the genetic testing and finding the SCM1A gene variant can give doctors a confidence to prescribe particular medications that they know will be better for Dravet syndrome. And there are now several medications that uh, have been shown to be beneficial in the syndrome. So it can cause a change in treatment which then may reduce seizure frequency. Also understanding the gene variant allows us to research the, the genetics and allows us to think, well, is it possible that we can change that gene uh, variant or mutation? Um, can you fix it in some way? And there are lots of uh, laboratory scientists all around the world looking at ways in which they can change the SCM1A gene or how it's expressed in the body. So we have two SCM1A genes and in children with Dravet syndrome often one of those is abnormal. Now um, because one is abnormal you don't get enough of the gene being made and because you don't get enough of the gene then you don't get enough of the um, protein that the gene produces being made, the sodium ion channel. Now, if you don't have enough of this sodium ion channel, you can develop epilepsy. Now, there are, there are clever basic scientists um, in different centers in many different countries working on ways in which they can boost the action of the good gene, the one that's left that's working. So that's one way in which gene therapy may possibly um, uh, be able to help children with Dravet syndrome.